Today we are working in chapter two, lesson two on page 105, and we are working with percents and fractions. So let's do some sample problems together. Um, numbers one through four, write each percent as a fraction in simplest form. So we have 2% and we know that 2% means two per hundred. So the percent um, means per 100. Centi means 100, like there are 100 centimeters in a meter, 100 cents in a dollar, 100 years in a century. So percent means per 100. So 2% means 2 per 100. And then we can simplify that 2 and 100 are both even. So we simplify that to 1 50th by dividing the numerator and the denominator both by 2. Number two, we have 20%. That means 20 per 100. And then we know that um, 20 and 100 have a greatest common factor of 20. So we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 20 to get 1 fifth. Okay. Number three, um, 85% means 85 per 100. These are both divisible by 5. So divide by five, divide by five. 85 divided by five, we get one. Subtract the five, 35, seven, so 17. And then 100 divided by five is 20. So we get 17 twentieths. Then number four, we have 4%, 4 which is four per 100. Okay, and those are both divisible by, um, four, the GCF is four, so four divided by four is one, one hundred divided by four is 25. We get one twenty-fifth. Okay, numbers five through eight, write each fraction as a percent, use a visual model if needed. So we want to scale these each up to 100 for denominator, we want them to be per hundred, okay, a percent. So two tenths would be how many per hundred or how many percent. So to get from 10 to 100, we multiply by 10. So to get from two to our new numerator, we also need to multiply by 10. So two times 10 is 20. So we get 20 per hundred, which is 20 percent. And remember the percent sign the diagonal goes from the top right to the bottom left, kind of like the number seven goes down. Okay, number six, we have three fourths. So we want to scale that up to hundred. Three is to four as one is to 100. So to get from four to 100, we just multiply by 25. We need to do the same thing to our numerator times 25. So three times 25 is 75. So we get 75 per 100, which is 75 per cent. Okay, number seven, we have 7 twentieths. So we wanna scale that up to 100. So seven is to 20 as what is to 100. So we look from 20 to 100, we can multiply by five. So to get from seven to our numerator, we also multiply by five. So seven times five is 35. 7 twentieths is equal to 35 hundredths, and um, that is 35 percent. And then here's a little fun tip that you will use when you're in pre-algebra. So if you have a proportion, which we do here, 7 twentieths is indeed equal to 35 hundredths. When you have a proportion, the cross products, I'm just going to erase these so you can see what I'm talking about here. When you have a proportion, the cross products will always be equal. So seven times 100, those are diagonal from each other. So seven times 100 is 700. So I just did seven times 100 to get 700. And then 35 times 20. Okay, I'm not great at multiplying by 20, but I can multiply by um, 10 and then double that. So I multiply by 10 and then by two. So 35 times 10 is 350 times two is 700. Okay, so you can always check for proportionality by multiplying your cross products together, and you'll know if you have the correct proportion, which we do here. So that was just an extra little um, 
way that you can check your fra or your equivalent fractions. Okay, moving on to number eight, we have 11 25ths. And we wanna change that to a percent. So we wanna denominator 100. So 25 times four would give us 100. So I need to do that same thing to my numerator times four, 11 times four is 44. So 44 per 100 is 44 per cent. Number nine, during his workout, Elon spent 28% of the time on the treadmill. What fraction of his workout was on the treadmill? So 28%, I can write that as a fraction, 28 per 100. And then I know that um, 28 and 100 have a GCF of four, so I can divide each of these by four, and I got seven 20 fifths of Elon's time. was spent on the treadmill. And this workout time to be a little bit more specific, a little more specific. Okay, number 10, a cat spends about seven out of 10 hours sleeping. About what percent of a cat's day is spent sleeping? So um, seven out of 10, and we would just wanna make that into um, percentage, so that's per hundred because percent means per hundred. So this is multiplied by 10 in our denominator. We just need to do the same thing to our numerator. So 70% of the day is spent sleeping by the cat. Number 11, a, sorry, that was off the screen there. Slide that back into the screen. 70% of the cat today is spent sleeping. Okay, a survey showed that 82% of youth most often use the internet at home. What fraction of youth surveyed most often use the internet somewhere else? Okay, so if 82% of the youth spent their time on the internet at home, so we could do 100 minus 82%, which is 18%. Okay, and they asked that as a fraction, the answer. So I wrote that as 18 out of 100. So that means that 18% of the students or youth um, use the internet somewhere other than their home. And then we wanna simplify that um, by dividing by the GCF. The GCF of 18 and 100 is um, two. So I can divide each of these by two and I get nine fiftieths. So um, nine fiftieths, nine out of every 50 youth use the internet somewhere other than their home. Number 12, Cedro collects state quarters. He has 42 out of 50 available quarters. What is 42 out of 50 as a percent? So 42 out of 50, and we wanna make that per 100. So we could look at our denominator, 42, well, let's look at the proportion. 42 is to 50 as what is to 100. So to get from 50 to 100, we need to multiply by two. And then we would need to do the same thing in our numerator multiplied by two, 42 times two is 84. So 84%, okay? So he has 84% of the quarters in, um, in his collection. He's missing a few. And then number 13, use the table, so the table is over here. Use the table to determine what percent of students prefer school uniforms. And what percent do not prefer school uniforms? Okay, so when we look at our um, numbers over here, um, so we have 
Um, in the no column, we have um, tally sets 5, 10, 15, 16. And in the yes category, um, students who do prefer school uniforms, that's four. So altogether, there are 20 students in the survey. Um, students, right? Percent yes, students. And so um, students who prefer school uniforms were four out of 20. So four out of 20. And then students who do not prefer school uniforms, that's 16 out of 20. And then we want to write these as percents. So scale them up to a denominator of 100. Okay, and they both have the same denominator. So we can know that 20 goes into 100 five times. So we need to take our numerators and multiply them by five. Okay, um, so four times five is 20 and 16 times five is 80. So 20% of students prefer um, school uniforms and 80% of students do not prefer school uniforms. So 20%, see if we can put this at the very bottom of the page. Twenty percent of students prefer school uniforms. Eighty percent of students do not. So that was um, chapter two, lesson two, page 105, independent practice.